Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz that raises more eyebrows than a Scottish tenor in a London pub. Rustling suspiciously across the counter tonight are, on my right, Nina Grant, a copy editor and proofreader whose specialist subjects include Disney films and strange diseases. Katie McGettigan, a university research fellow who travels to America a lot, mostly visiting libraries. And their captain, Jenny Harris, a PhD student with a degree in French who spent a year working in a shop that sold Scandinavian things. United by a passion for poetry, they are the part-time poets. Now, Jenny, viewers with long memories, which is about 12% of our viewers, may find your face familiar. Why would that be? Well, we came uh, with my university challenge team quite a few years ago to film a special against the crossworders who obviously trounced us. So I thought, come back and have a proper go. Excellent. I'm very impressed. This is real commitment. You've done a one-off special <laughs> yeah. and now you think, all right, come on, let's do the full series. Good luck. Welcome back. This time around, you are facing on my left. Howard Friedman, a taxi driver and Blackpool FC supporter, who used to live in a flat that was used in the TV series Minder. Adrian Knott, a civil servant with an English degree who can make balloon animal hats, though his swan is a bit rusty. <laughs> and their captain, Michael Slowey, a data analyst with a degree in business studies who was abandoned by his mother during an armed robbery. United by an affection for the Academy Awards, they are the Oscar men. How does your team celebrate the Oscars? Uh, generally with hot dogs, uh, lots of booze and betting against each other on the outcome. How much do you bet? At the moment it's 50p. We might be up it by 50p for next year. Just to keep it interesting. Yeah, yeah. We are going to play the quiz starting with round one. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? Oscar men, if you bet on the toss you'd be victorious because you won that. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, we'll go with two reads, please. Two reads. OK. First of four clues coming up. Shout next when you want another one. The time starts now. OK, next, please. OK, these are the places in those places with Endlestone. Featherstone. Um... I think we're going to buzz in this one. Um, Places. Uh, no, stone. They're connected by stone. A confident opening buzz and coming in after two clues, you get three points. If you add stone, you will get, as I'm sure you know, a village or town in that area. They are missing stone. Very well done. Part-time poets, what would you like? Uh, the lion, please. The lion question. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Uh, she was assassinated there. Yeah. And yeah. also the head of state. Okay, maybe yeah. have another uh, Yeah, or next, or? please. Monarch's there. Monarch. Well, Benzibu's not a monarch. No. She's a politician. Um, do you think... It might be whether... Do you think we should see the last one? Yeah, can we have the last one, please? Maybe first female head of state and where? Three seconds. Uh, so the first female head of state and the capital city. I'm afraid that's not it. So there's a bonus opportunity for the Oscar men. Um, was Queen Beatrice assassinated? I don't think they were. Uh, we're just going to go with these. Were, they were all assassinated in these particular city. They were not. Hmm. Now, what this is a selection of is airports named after women. <sighs> Now, three of them heads of state, Indira Gandhi was assassinated, but Istanbul Airport is named after Turkey's first female combat pilot. Oh, wow. Yes, but women who have airports named after them is what we're looking at there. So you don't get the bonus, Oscar men, but you do get the chance to choose a question. Uh, we'll go with Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. It's a music question. What is the connection between these musical clues? Here's the first. And beyond the moat, there are no such a clatter. Yeah. I jump to the window to see what uh, next the next place. Next place. No, no, no. I'm not going to play so Ash, 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 Ash,
to get on to that passion mode. Yeah. Yeah. No, the first one, the monster mash, ashes to ashes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, three so seconds. seconds. That's pretty Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'll go for that. I can't well, give you long. Still, we believe they all, but they may contain the word ash. I'm afraid they do not all contain the word ash, so I'm going to give a blast of the final clue to the part-time poets. I need an answer. Just ashes. I um, think they, um, they no, ash. that's too long, too long. Oh, okay. What they all do is refer to previous songs. Uh, the key, that first one is not Monster Mash, it's uh, Monster's Holiday oh, by the same artist, but it refers back to Monster Mash. Ashes to Ashes, of course. Yeah. We know Major Tom's a junkie. That refers to Space Oddity. Peggy Sue got married. No. That's Buddy Holly's great love, Peggy Sue, but he's heard the news she got married. And the final one, Let's Twist Again. What does that refer to? The twist. The twist, Chubby yeah, Checkers, yeah. The Twist. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and he's referring back to that. It's sequels. My oh. grandfather used to sing that when he dealt blackjack to us. If you took a card, he would sing Let's Twist again. <laughs> but properly to win money. You know, genuinely, he was trying to win our pocket money so he could buy cigarettes and sweets. And he would sing the song happily to himself as he pocketed it. God bless him. All songs that refer to previous songs by the same artist. So you don't get the bonus poets, but you do get a choice. Uh, the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Uh, what is that? Who are they? This is period drama. Uh, next, please. Salami. Salami. Two cold cups. Tapas. Cold, is that cold case? Cold case. Cold cups. Uh, let's have uh, it. Next, please. Mince pies. <laughs> Sausages, mince pies. Types of meat, but then sausage, they wouldn't have sausage yeah. types of meat. Oh, was it rhyming slang? Plates of meat. Oh, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Slang. Good. What good. are they rhyming slang for? Oh, I can't rice. remember all the meat yeah. yeah. They're all cockney rhyming slang. They are. Can you tell me something else? Mm. Parts of the body? For parts of the body, that's right. That first one is a still from the BBC adaptation of North and South for Mrs. Gaskell for the mouth. Plates of meat is the next one. This is a rarefied quiz. I like to hear people muttering salami, chorizo. <laughs> it's just plates of meat. It's just ordinary meat for the feet. Mince pies, eyes. And what's that last one you didn't need? Boat race face. Boat race for the face. That's right. We're coming in after three clues. You get two points. Well done. Back to you, Oscar men. Uh, Horned viper, please. The viper. What is the connection between its snaky clues? Here's the first. Beans in the Next, please. Oh, Macca Packer in the night garden. Uh, isn't it Macca Packer so in the night garden? Yeah, um, okay, can we uh, go for the notch? Next, please. Ali Yip. I think these may all be characters in the night garden, but I, I don't know. I don't have kids, but it's a jungle, it's a jungle. Can we go on? I might as well take the last one. Uh, can we take the last one, please, next, please? Oh, mother. Okay, from the old oh, mothership. Okay, I think we've got this. I think they lived in caves. Um, they all lived in caves. They are all troglodytes, cave dwellers. That's absolutely right. Who do you recognise? Uh, Maka Packer from the Night Garden, I think it is. And mm. Old Mother Shipton specifically was the one that gave it away for me. Yeah, Old Mother Shipton, sort of medieval soothsayer. Mm. Alley Oop, that's an American comic strip about a caveman. And the Nabataeans, they're just ancient people, I mean, proper ancient <laughs> people. There are cave paintings that they left behind. I mean, they'd be interesting characters on in the Night Garden. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> in fact, an ancient, uh, ancient people who drew on the walls of their cave homes. Well done. Poets, what would you like? Well, we've got water left, haven't we? I hope that's what you'd like, because that's what you're getting. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. University Challenge. Challenge. University Challenge appearances. They are contestants on University <laughs> Challenge. You didn't need to see yes. John yes. Sessions <laughs> and Stephen Fry, contestants on University John Challenge Sessions. over the years. Here's a question that Stephen Fry got right. Who partnered George Burns in the film version of The Sunshine Boys? Nope. Who was it? 
Walter, Walter Matthau. Matthau. Of course, Walter Matthau. You must see that film. It's brilliant. D do you know the story of David Aronovich on University Challenge? They only gave um, communist leaders as answers, didn't they? It was that team. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, well, they did. Yeah. So what happened? What, this is a great story. Do you know this? Yeah. In those days, you could just go on University <laughs> Challenge. There was no audition. You just wrote in and went, can we be on? And they said, yeah. So they wrote to the University of Manchester and the, the letter was sort of misdelivered. It didn't go to the union <laughs> and fell into the hands of these communist students who said, right, we'll do it. And they went on, and as a protest against elitism, <laughs> they answered communist leaders for every question, but not all through the show, because they ran out. <laughs> and they, got, they couldn't think of any more. So they said Trotsky for sort of seven or eight answers. <laughs> then Pat Gascoigne said, you know, you're just spoiling the quiz, and we won't broadcast it. And then they sort of sheepishly answered a few questions, got a score of 40. <laughs> At the end of round one, the Oscar men have four points, the part-time poets have five. <laughs> On to round two, the sequence is round. What comes fourth in a sequence? I'll be asking that initially to the Oscar men. We're going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What will come fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Horus. Right. Uh, next, please. Country rights. Country rights. Yeah, can we just chance? Um, can we go for the next one? Yeah. Uh, can we go for the next, please? Oh, okay. Um, so, what's it called now? Business rights? No. There can be business rights as well. Well, I'll give business rights as well. That's not part of the. That's not a sequence, is it? It could be. It could be going up. Three seconds. Uh, we're going to go with business rate. Unfortunately, as I heard you say, not a sequence. Mm. That might be a category, but it's mm. not a sequence. So there's a bonus chance for you poets. I think it might be the poll tax. I can't take it, because uh, the poll tax is sort of slang for yeah. actually clue three that we're looking at. That's what I thought. It, it was I mean, the council tax. I mean, some people do still say the poll tax, meaning the council right. tax, but technically council that would be clue three. Yeah, oh, council tax. It's successive local taxes levied in England and Wales. Business rates is sort of a different sort of thing, yeah. but the local taxes after the community charge, which is the one that was yeah. known really as the poll tax. Yeah. Council tax was next. Know. So you don't get the bonus, but you do get a choice. What would you like? Uh, can we have water, please? Water. It's a music sequence. <laughs> How lovely. You'll be hearing the clues, but only three of them. I want to know what you'd expect to hear at clue four. First piece of music coming in now. really familiar. Does, but it's that era. Next, please. Monday, Monday? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't like Mondays. Would be an acceptable answer. <laughs> well done. What did we hear? Every day is like Sunday by Morrissey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we just sort of decided the direction. Oh, Saturday is night's all right for fighting. That's by what Elton it John. was. That's right, Elton John. John. And unfortunately, not Friday by Rebecca Black. Uh, no, it was <laughs> She Left Me on Friday, Shed Seven. Okay. So we need to hear a song featuring Monday. It could have been Manic Monday or Monday yeah. Monday. You went right. with. Uh, I don't like Mondays by the Boomtown Rats. Unfortunately, we don't have a recording of that, but I don't see why the viewers shouldn't be able to enjoy a snatch of it anyway. Let's go from the Tell Me Why. One, two, three. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Gee, that was lovely. <laughs> I think you could form a fantastic six-part supergroup. You might work a little bit on the timing, but the harmonies, beautiful. That's cheered up my evening no end. Very well done. I'd give you 12 points if I could and bonus ones for you. I can't, but Oscar men, I may offer you a choice. Um, lion, please. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK. Next, please. Uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's going small, aren't we? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, Crete's got to be the biggest, I mean. Okay, Shall we go uh, next, please? Wait, can't it's going small, aren't we? Yeah, they are going small, I think. Could be cost. What about, um, where the place, where, excuse me, I can't smell it, but I'll go through. 
Coffee. Do you want some coffee? I don't know. Uh, coffee or coffee? Yes. Not, not really if it's going to small, is Okay. It? Um, we're going for Greek islands. Um, I think they're probably going large to small, so we're going to go with Kos. I'm afraid that's not the answer. So there's a bonus chance for you, part-time poets. Um, or try Crete. Unfortunately for you, they're getting larger and the answer is Crete. Well done, you get the bonus point. And your choice of a question. Uh, the two reads, please. Two reads, OK. What will come forth in this little sequence? Here's the first. Counterintelligence. Yes. Oh, it's MI. MI5. Uh, next, please. Oh, isn't. Hang on. No, is it? It's this. It's. I think, hang on. 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 I no, MI, revenge. Tragedy. Um, it's going to be like Three seconds. Um, Organised crime? Not an answer I can take, I'm afraid. So there's a bonus chance for you now, Oscar Men. Well, uh, it's film related. It's a Bond thing, I think. I think these are the initials for Spectre, and the last one being uh, E for extortion. Very well done. It is organised crime in a way, but very specifically, <laughs> it's got to start with an E because we're talking about the Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge and Extortion, known as Spectre. Yes, it's our obligatory Bond question. We have to have some of those every uh, every series. What do you think of Spectre, the new Bond film? I liked it, yeah, really good. I feel like it's much better. Yeah. That terrible one about the oil or the oh. water or whatever it was, the yeah. quantum, quantum of, of nonsense. Oh, I need that day of my life back. <laughs> Spectre was really good fun again. Yeah. Who runs uh, Spectre? Um, Blofeld. Ernst Blofeld, of course. Excellent fellow. Well done, you get the bonus point and you may choose a question. Uh, we're going to go for Twisted Flax, please. Twisted Flax. What are? These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the last picture? Here's the first. It might, it might be Turkish, uh, next, please. What? There's uh, a line. Is it called Liam? Is it called Liam? It's in this MGM logo. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, next one, please. That's a lay. Um, okay. So a, a, a lay. 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 Seconds. Um, right, so we've got Lira, L I R, L E O. I need an answer. Um, we believe it might be um, Lip, L I P. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So another bonus opportunity for the poets. So Lay is L E I. Yeah. Um, I need an Leo. answer. L I L E O. L E U. L E U. Um, no, it's too long. <laughs> Sorry? Saint Lou. Can't, can't yeah. do that, I'm afraid, because in fact, that first picture is the well-known Romanian currency, the Liu. Oh, that's the then Liu. we've got Leo, Leo the MGM lion, Lee. then Lei, so it's so L-E-U-O-I. Lee. Lee, you know, the author yeah, Harper yeah. Lee, for example. Yeah. It's just something yeah. L-E-E, -E, that's what we needed. So you were fumbling around in the yeah. area, but yeah. not quite on it. Yeah. I'm remembering my wedding night. <laughs> One question remaining for you, poets, the horned viper. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Last, um, 48. Mm -hmm. uh, next. Oh, Super Bowl. So it was um, Beyonce again, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she just she was the last year. one. OK. Beyonce. So then the, uh, X, L. No, it would just be L. Yeah. 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 Beyonce equals L. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So back to the Oscar men for another bonus chance. Yeah. No, wasn't it uh, Coldplay? Okay. Say came on. okay, we'll go with Coldplay and X uh, with L. L. I will accept Coldplay with L or 50. 
Now, you know this is Super Bowl performances. Beyonce was a special guest, but these are specifically the headliners. Uh, okay. So Beyonce headlined at the 47th Super Bowl in okay. 2013. Then we have Bruno Mars, Katy Perry, and Coldplay at the 50th one. Funnily enough, they don't write it with an L. If you look back at the branding for that one, because they felt in America that Super Bowl <laughs> L would really confuse people, so they just put 50. Even though they are going to, for the next one, go back to L-I, <laughs> So Super bowl is OK, <laughs> yeah. but Super bowl no. Yeah. So they wrote it with a 50. But Coldplay were the headline act. Mm -hmm. Well done for the bonus. That means at the end of round two, the Oscar men have six points, the part-time poets have eight. <laughs> time now for the connecting wall, and it'll be the part-time poets who go first this time. So you have a choice, lion or water? Uh, we'd like the lion wall, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting... Now. Um, uh, okay, so uh, Walk the Line is a. Is a biopic about Johnny Cash. Yeah, with Joaquin Phoenix in. Um, um, also a Johnny Cash song. Okay, um, um, I'm saying Lotus. Lotus Moon? No. Lotus. Um, Crescent Moon. Deadly Nightshade. That's a position. There's a position. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, good one. Is, um, I don't have time to Crescent Maybe. Moon? Yeah. No. Okay, let's try Mountain. Okay. Try I don't know if Crescent Moon actually is one, no. by the way. Okay, no. <laughs> we Should we try that? that? Maybe take okay. up Cobra. Let's try Power. Power. Um, yeah, Power's dance. Okay. Um, okay, what else have we got? Jet Black, Mud Brown, um, um, Wild... Election... Election Special. Deadly Nightshade. Election Night. Electric Six. Electric... Um, um, power? No. <laughs> Power plant. Mm. Saracen's cobras. No, Saracen, cobra. cobra, jet, and hunter. Oh, oh gladiators. 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 Right, okay. So, jet is one. No, jet, um, um, nightshade. Was yeah, it was, was one yeah. as well. Let's try without cobra. Oh, no, let's try without jet. Yes. Oh, wait, yes. Okay. okay. Right. Jet pack, Should six try? pack, mud jet pack, power, uh, power, power pack. pack. Okay, try uh, it uh, Expansion pack. pack. Yeah, okay, try it without power. Right, try it without jet. Try it without six. And try it without mud. <laughs> yes. Great. Okay, right. okay. Three strikes so and you're out now. Um, okay. So now we've got this film, Walk the Line, okay. or song, Walk the Line, Johnny Cash. Song. Oh, Reese Witherspoon film. So uh, she was in an election. election. She was in Walk the Line. She was in Wild, Wild and Mud. Oh, oh wait, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you solved the wall. Well done. That's four points immediately. What about the connections? Yeah. Tell me about the first blue group starting Cobra. They were all gladiators of the 1990s. <laughs> That's right, the original <laughs> series, 1992 to 2000. <laughs> They're gladiators. The green group, Power Jet 6 Expansion. Can be followed by Pack. They can all be followed by Pack. And the next group starting Wild. They are films with Reese Witherspoon. In them. That's right, Wild Election, Walk the Line and Mud all featured the actor Reese Witherspoon. And the final turquoise group, Mountain, Cow Face, Lotus, Crescent Moon. I would go for yoga. I yoga think. poses. They're think? yoga positions. That's absolutely right. Very well done. So that's all the connections as well as the groups. I can give you a maximum of 10 points. Let's bring in the Oscar men now, give them a wall and see what they can do about solving it. It's the water wall that remains for you. Two and a half minutes, of course, starting now. OK. Uh, I saw that kind of play. It's a jury into fruit as well. Um, it's been smells, so OK. So we go for uh, jigsaw, adds, rattle and play. Chisel. Chisel, chisel rattle, adds, jigsaw. And a jury of their, their, their fruits that have, and have avocados of fruit. Food. So I'll go for those oh, ones. Try that. Okay. Go for mango avocado there. Rambutan. Oh. Okay. We're we missing one out, are we? Jury and avocado. Try that. Okay, good. Three strikes now. Okay. Yeah, okay, so like, these are types of puzzles, okay, and that there's t women's clothing places, so, okay, we know, but let's, let's well, jigsaw is as well, so that's the one that's a crossover. So we know, we know a tangram, a ken ken, and a crossword, right, okay, so the next one we know need to go for, there's women's clothing outlets, and there's, and there's puzzles, so jigsaw is probably most likely to go in that. We've got monsoon, oasis, mango, and ten sours. Could be a puzzle as well. OK, so it's that, 10 gram, king, king, crossword. That's it, you've solved the wall. Very well done. 
Mm. What about the connections? Chisel, adds, braddle, mm. plane. Yeah, they're all types of tools. They're woodworking tools. The ads, of course, so beloved of uh, Scrabble players, <laughs> with or without the E, <laughs> so useful. And the green group starting Rambutan. They're all um, fruits, exotic, they are. more exotic fruits, really. Our question editor says <laughs> the durian is a large, oval, tasty but foul-smelling fruit with a prickly rind. Mm. Takes one to know one. <laughs> I would say takes one to know one. The Rambutan is a little prickly red Malayan fruit. And the next group starting Tangram, what's that? They're all types of puzzles. Exactly. Yeah. Quizzers uh, should always appreciate the range of puzzles in the world. That's four of them. And the last group, Jigsaw, Monsoon, Oasis, Mango. Having two sisters, this has helped me out. They are women's uh, fashion outlets. Women's clothing stores. That's absolutely right. So all the groups, all the connections, that's a maximum of ten. Let's have a look at the scores. The Oscar men have 16 points. The part-time poets have 18 points. So it's neck and neck and will be decided in a missing vowels round. Fingers on buzzers, teams. This is a close one. I can tell you that the first group are all adjectives involving animals. Oscar men? Snake hit. Correct. Poets? Um, too long, I'm afraid, Oscar men? Uh, dog type. No, that's not it. Dog eat dog. Next clue. Don't know this one. They say it of a town, one horse. Next clue. Poets? Ten pet. Correct. Next category, things an estate agent might say. Oscar men? In need of modernisation. Correct. Poets? Full of character. Correct. Poets? Tremendous scope for improvement. Very well done. This one is deceptively spacious. <laughs> Next category, people who share their surnames with birds. Poets? James Martin. Correct. Oscar Men. Christopher Wren. Correct. Oscar Men? Uh, Angela Eagle. Is the right answer. And the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. No more people who share surnames with birds. I can reveal the final scores. And the winners with 21 points and through to the next round are the part-time poets. And an impressive second place with 20 points, it's the Oscar men. So very well done, part-time poets. You are through. But Oscar men, with a score of 20, I can reveal you are among our highest scoring second place finishers this block. So you'll be back as well through to the next sub round. Very well done. We'll be seeing you all again. And I hope we'll see you again too. Join me for next week's show, which is going to feature a swimwear round. But don't worry, it simply involves our teams having to identify ancient Etruscan forms of swimwear using engravings found on old pottery shards while wearing bikinis and speedos. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
United by a passion for poetry, they are the part-time poets. Now, Jenny, viewers with long memories, which is about 12% of our viewers, may find your face familiar. Why would that be? Well, we came uh, with my university challenge team quite a few years ago to film a special against the crossworders who obviously trounced us. So I thought, come back and have a proper go. Excellent. I'm very impressed. This is real <laughs> commitment. You've done a one-off special yeah. and now you think, all right, come on, let's do the full series. Good luck. Welcome back. This time around, you are facing on my left. Howard Friedman, a taxi driver and Blackpool FC supporter who used to live in a flat that was used in the TV series Minder. Adrian Knott, a civil servant with an English degree who can make balloon animal hats, though his swan is a bit rusty. <laughs> and their captain, Michael Slowey, a data analyst with a degree in business studies who was abandoned by his mother during an armed robbery. United by an affection for the Academy Awards, they are the Oscar men. How does your team celebrate the Oscars? Uh, generally with hot dogs, uh, lots of booze and betting against each other on the outcome. How much do you bet? At the moment it's 50p. We might be up it by 50p for next year. Just to keep it interesting. Yeah, yeah. We are going to play the quiz starting with round one. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? Oscar men, if you bet on the toss you'd be victorious because you won that. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, we'll go with two reeds, please. Two reeds. OK. First of four clues coming up. Shout next when you want another one. The time starts now. OK, next, please. OK, these are the places in those places with Engelstone. Featherstone. Silverstone. Yeah, should we go for that? Yeah. Um, I think we're going to buzz in this one. Um, Places. Uh, no, stone. They're connected by stone. A confident opening buzz and coming in after two clues, you get three points. If you add stone, you will get, as I'm sure you know, a village or town in that area. They are missing stone. Very well done. Part time poets, what would you like? Uh, the lion, please. The lion question. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Uh, she was assassinated there. Yeah. And yeah. also the head of state. Okay, maybe yeah. have another one. Uh, yeah, next, more. please. Monarchs there. Monarch. 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 No. She's a politician. Um, do you think it might be one of them? Do you think we should see the last one? Yeah, can we have the last one, please? Maybe first female head of state, and where? Three seconds. Uh, so, the first female head of state and the capital city. I'm afraid that's not it. So there's a bonus opportunity for the Oscar men. Um, was Queen Beatrice assassinated? I don't think they were. Uh, we're, we're just going to go with these. Were, they were all assassinated in these particular city. They were not. Hmm. Now, what this is a selection of is airports named after women. <sighs> Now, three of them heads of state, Indira Gandhi was assassinated, but Istanbul Airport is named after Turkey's first female combat pilot. Oh, wow. Yes, but women who have airports named after them is what we're looking at there. So you don't get the bonus, Oscar Men, but you do get the chance to choose a question. Uh, we'll go with Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. It's a music question. What is the connection between these musical clues? Here's the first. And beyond the moat, there are no such a clatter. Yeah. I jump to the window what, to see uh, what's next, the next place. Uh, 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 next place. Next place. No, no, no. I said it could be a lot of fun. I said it could be a lot of fun. I said it could be a lot of fun. I said it could be a lot of fun. I said it could be a lot of fun. Ash, mash. You got to have ash in there. This is my No, the first one, the monster mash. Ash is to ashes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Three sorry. seconds. That's pretty Ooh. Simple, okay. Okay. Um, I'll go for that. I can't well, give you long. Still, it would believe the old, but they may contain the word ash. I'm afraid they do not all contain the word ash, so I'm going to give a blast of the final clue to the part time poets. <laughs> Dance. 
answers, maybe? Yeah. No, 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 the second no. one isn't. Um, ashes too I need ashes. an answer. It's just ashes. I um, think they, um, they all No, that's ashes. too long, too oh, long. Okay. What they all do is refer to previous songs. The uh, key, that first one is not Monster Mash, it's uh, Monster's Holiday oh. by the same artist, but it refers back to Monster Mash. Ashes to Ashes, of course. We know Major Tom's a junkie. That refers to Space Oddity. Peggy Sue got married. That's Buddy Holly's great love, Peggy Sue, but he's heard the news she got married. And the final one, Let's Twist Again. What does that refer to? The twist. The twist, Chubby yeah, Checkers, the yeah. twist. And, uh, and he's referring back to that. It's sequels. My grandfather used to sing that when he dealt blackjack to us. If you took a card, he would sing Let's Twist Again. But properly to win money. You know, genuinely, he was trying to win our pocket money so he could buy cigarettes and sweets. And he would sing the song happily to himself as he pocketed it. God bless him. All songs that refer to previous songs by the same artist. So you don't get the bonus poets, but you do get a choice. Uh, the Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. These are going to be picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Uh, what is that? Who are they? This is period drama. Uh, next, please. Salami, Rikaliso, Cold Two Cups. Sausages. Tapas. Cold, is that Cold Case? Cold Case, Cold Cups. Uh, let's have uh, it. Next, please. Mince pies. Okay. <laughs> sausages, mince pies. Types of meat, but then sausage, they wouldn't have sausages. Yeah. Types of oh, meat, was it rhyming slang? Plates of meat. Oh, mince yeah, pies. Yeah, good. Slang. Go what through. are they rhyming slangs for? Oh, I can't pies, remember all of them. Mince pies are yeah. yeah. They're all Cockney rhyming slang. They are. Can you tell me something else? Mm. Parts of the body? For parts of the body, that's right. That first one is a still from the BBC adaptation of North, North and South, South. the Mrs. Yeah. Gaskell for the mouth. Plates of meat is the next one. This is a rarefied quiz. I like to hear people muttering salami, chorizo. <laughs> it's just plates of meat. It's just ordinary meat for the feet. Mince pies, eyes. And what's that last one you didn't need? Boat race face. Boat race for the face. That's right. We're coming in after three clues. You get two points. Well done. Back to you, Oscar men. Uh, Horned viper, please. The viper. What is the connection between its snaky clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, like a packet in the night garden. Uh, isn't it like a packet so in the night garden? Yeah, um, okay, can we uh, go for the notch? Next, please. Ali, I think these may all be characters in the night garden, but 